In this video I'll be showing you how to field strip, clean and oil, and reassemble a Rite Mod 92. This is a blank firing gun, a front firing or front venting gun. Uh, the steps on every gun is similar with slight variances that are uh, different. Usually the takedown lever is somewhat different or the way it goes back on or something similar to that. Very small differences on every single blank gun. <coughs> So the first step you want to do is remove your magazine, make sure there's nothing in it. Check the chamber, make sure there's nothing in it. From there, you <clears throat> close your slide, um, pull, pull, uh, push down your takedown lever until it's in that uh, vertical position. And then from behind it, the little lever, you can pull it up, just start wiggling it out until it's out. Put that to the side. At that point, you just want to grab your slide, pull it back, and then up. It'll remove it from the frame, allowing it to go forward. You can pull your uh, guide rod and spring out. Uh, sometimes these springs go in a, a specific way. A lot of the times they go in a specific way or they won't seat properly and you'll find yourself struggling to get the slide back on. So I like to keep them to the side in the way they came off so they go back on without any issues. You'll have your block, <clears throat> again, uh, they only go in one way, you can't really mess these up. Just want to make sure the opening is outward, uh, outside, uh, pointing outward of the gun. But if you want to just keep it right there in that same position so it goes back on the same way. Take a clean cloth, some gun cleaning, um, <clears throat> some gun cleaning fluid. Uh, anything will really, uh, any gun cleaning fluid will work. If you have a preference to one, that's great. If not, buy the cheapest stuff you can find. It's not really a big deal. They all work. Wipe down your gun. With this stuff, you can wipe down every single part you can get access to. I'm not going to go crazy. This gun was never actually used. So you won't see any uh, residual or uh, grime, dirt, whatever, on the cloth. You'll do the same with your slide your guide rod, your spring, getting everything wiped down. Again, I'm not going to go crazy. Once that's done, you take a clean cloth and you wipe all the residual residuals off the gun. I'm just cleaning it. You don't want that on there when you oil it. You want to do a better job than I'm doing, just kind of going through the steps with you. Once the gun is clean and wiped down, you want to take a small amount of oil, very thin coat, nothing crazy, and you wipe down all the contact points or the friction points. Now when you first have your gun, you're not really going to know what those points are, unless you pay uh, very close attention to when you're sliding the slide, putting it on, you'll notice where they rub. Um, you can just wipe down the whole entire uh, frame. It's not going to harm it. You're doing a very light coating. You're not soaking the gun. Wipe down your block, your spring, your, your uh, guide rod. I'm not going crazy. <clears throat> just a light coating everywhere. Now the more you fire your gun, the more you use it, you'll notice uh, the contact points, the friction points on your gun. They'll start wearing away the, the finish that's there. And you want to make sure those points get a, a little more oil than the rest of the gun. To put your gun back together, same as it was, same, it's uh, reversed as a, <laughs> it's reversed, uh, uh, what the hell am I trying to say? It's a reversed as the, it is reversed. Okay, to put your gun back together, you want to reverse the procedure of taking apart the gun. So the block only goes in one specific way. Uh, but I shouldn't say that. The block will only slide in, in the shape of the frame, but it can go in backwards. You want to make sure this hole pointing outward to the gun towards the firing. Uh, the way you fire the front of the gun, you want to make sure that hole is pointing that way. The guide 
goes the guide rod goes into the recoil spring. The butt of this goes into the block. And you want to make sure your spring seats. If it doesn't seat all the way to the back of the block, I can't really show you. There you go. If it doesn't sit all the way in the back of the block, just sits flush right there, it is in wrong. You want to reverse the spring. Make sure it goes to the back of the block. block. Take your guy, uh, slide. And small hole, small thingy, big hole, big thingy. Alright, so this, um, some people get frustrated, they start pulling, they, they can't, uh, can't get it on, I can't get it on, they think they did something wrong, you didn't. Just make sure your gun's in the fire mode, hammer's back, the spring is seated properly, then you should be fine. Just want to make sure you use some force, pick up the gun, pick up the rear of the slide, it'll kind of go into a little notch, and then push the, the, the slide back down. Now, I, I flicked the switch by accident as I was pulling it back, it won't allow the gun to go forward, or it should maybe, no, okay. So you want to make sure that's in a fire mode. You might have to pull it back, get it in the fire position, and then the slide will go forward. <coughs> now, <coughs> excuse me. This block here is blocking um, the takedown lever from going in. Most guns will come with a tool to help you uh, pull the, uh, the block forward by using a little pin that goes into the guide rod. I don't have that tool. My gun didn't come with it. So what you want to do is pull your slide back, put it in the, the lock, uh, lock slide, <clears throat> the slide lock on so that the lock, uh, the slide is locked in the open position. You take your pin, you want to put it through the hole, uh, the guide rod, close the paper clip up so it doesn't fall off, it just angles there. Release the slide, that'll push on the guide, the guide rod allowing uh, the relief of the block, uh, pressure on the block. Push your slide forward a little bit. That'll uh, open up that block completely, pull uh, the hole completely. Take your guide, uh, take down lever, push it back in. You might have to fiddle with it a little bit to get it in by pushing on the, uh, the block to push it forward a little bit. If, you, if you're having trouble, you can just take something like a screwdriver and push that block in a little bit. And if that's not working in this case, it's not. I'll go from the back side, just quarter of the way in, push with a screwdriver, sorry. Go from the back side with a screwdriver, pushing on that block to bring it forward a little bit. Taking my takedown lever, getting it in there, in that, ah, sorry, getting it in, into the hole, and then pushing it in. Make sure the takedown lever is flush with the frame. As you can see there's no gaps. And then put it in the, the position it should be in. <clears throat> From that point you'll, it'll feel a little loose because the pin's still in there. Take your slide, push it back, lock it in the open position. Take your pin out, release your slide, and then this will have some tension to it because the spring is now pushing against the block, push against, pushing against the takedown lever, and you get that tension. Your gun should work completely fine now. Put your magazine in. Pull it back. It just should lock in the open position. Release it. Fire it. So that was how to field strip a Rite Mod 92 blank firing gun. Front firing or front venting. It's the same as the top firing or temp top of venting. For everybody that asks, yes, these orange tips do unscrew. They are a pain. You need some channel locks to unscrew them. You can clean out your barrel using uh, bristles that come with gun cleaning kits. Again, I didn't fire this gun. It wasn't necessary. But if you're firing your gun, you want to make sure you do clean that up. You don't want the... Not because uh, you know, you're know you not firing real ammo out of it, so it's not like anything's coming out to where you want to make sure your barrel is completely clean. But you want to make sure it's clean enough and oiled because you don't want corrosion to start kicking in. That burnt gunpowder, unburnt gunpowder will eat away at finishes and steel and then it will start to rust. <clears throat> I hope this was uh, informative for you guys. I'm going to be posting more videos about all the blank guns uh, that are basically on the market, pretty much every single one of them. So if you don't see your gun now, it will be up eventually. If you want, you can request a gun. I know this is a new channel, people won't see it right away, but over time uh, this will become a very informative channel for people that do collect, use, or uh, collect these guns, use them for fun. 
Fourth uh, of July type of things like that. Maybe just movies or or um, theaters stuff like that. Um, I hope to hope you guys hang around, subscribe to the channel, like this video if you do, uh, if you do find it informative. Uh, I appreciate uh, your time. Take care.